total knee replacements are performed in the U.S. each year. That number is expected to grow to 3.5 million by the year 2030. Age, weight, ethnicity, gender, and lifestyle can have a tremendous impact on the success of a total knee replacement. And here to tell us more about custom knee replacements, please welcome back to the show Dr. Larry Likeover from Memorial Hermann Memorial City, along with his patient, Willie Shaner. Hi there. <laughs> This used to be a surgery that it just, it, it took a lot out of people. And a lot of people would just put it off and say, I'd rather just be sedentary than to go through the pain of, of the knee replacement. Things have changed That's correct. in this business. That's correct. So uh, a number of things, probably the biggest change is the actual devices that you that you put in. Yes, ma'am. The implants have gotten much better. He's just such a kind, yes, ma'am, he says. <laughs> But yeah, so the implants have gotten much better. And the, and, the in, and the technique of putting them in has gotten a lot better. I'm doing this procedure called Custom Fit Total Knee Replacement, which is basically a knee replacement designed by a computer to give you a better result and a much quicker recovery. Yeah, when you say designed by a computer, what is that computer reading? The computer is reading MRI of the patient's knee done before the surgery. The shape of the knee is sent to California, and they design a knee, a knee to give a perfect fit. Yeah, so a, a fit like you used to have before all the, the, the bones started wearing away? The computer has a program to take your knee back to the way you were or the way your knee was before you developed osteoarthritis of the knee, correct the deformity. You can see on the animation and give you a result to take your knee back the way you were when you were 18 years old, basically. Well, uh, wow, okay. Now, Willie. Yeah. You love moving around. You love Lo to dance. Love to dance and do the old type polka and waltz. And yeah. Polish dance. So w when did you start noticing that it was getting harder to do? Probably around 2005 or something like that. Mm -hmm. What were the symptoms? Just I had a pain on the outside of my leg. And, mm -hmm. the, and when you when you dance, why well, you, you move around a lot and you do a lot of turning and that. And I was... It hampered me from doing what I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. And so, did you have? Any, yeah, that. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Did I you have any idea what what was causing it? Do you think it was something that would, that would pass? That maybe you injured it, or and it was passed, or did you do you realize it was getting worse? I, I just think just being active. You know, I was did a lot of exercise, and the, the job I had, I spent a lot of time on concrete, and I think and just dancing and just. Normal wear, I think. Just yeah, yeah. That's a lot of people look at it, Dr. Luckover, and say, well, that's just normal wear. It's all a sign of aging, so there's nothing I can do about it. But you're here to say, oh, yes, you can. You shouldn't have to live in pain. Yeah. yeah. And so what generally causes, uh, is it just wearing out or arthritis or just a number of things? Well, osteoarthritis is wearing out. It's caused by genetic, your heredity, overweight condition, and previous injury to the knee, maybe playing football or basketball when you were younger. Yeah. You, you find yourself... Uh, dancing less and less. At what point did you finally say, "I got to do something about this because I want my quality of life back"? Well, probably in 2006. You know, I got where I couldn't dance, do the things I wanted to do. So my <laughs> lovely wife Shirley she said, "Let's go see Dr. Larry Lackover." That's right. And Shirley, you're, you're in the audience. What was that you just said to me? So you, and you noticed that you had to just do like the slow dances, which ain't nothing wrong with the slow dance. But are we sat and talked? Yes, it is. You, you said you, you we said? just sat and talked and visited with everyone at the table, or we sat alone because they were dancing. Yeah, yeah. and it's something you really missed out on because you two yes. really loved it. Yes. Right. Okay. So did three you days a week we would dance. Yeah. And so did you have to prod him a little bit to go and get it taken care of? Uh, no, not really. I think once he made the visit to Larry. Uh, Larry convinced him pretty fast. All right, so what was the process that you did, Larry? Well, the first time we did a traditional knee replacement, and Willie had a little trouble getting over that surgery. Mm -hmm. He was reluctant to do the second knee, and then we did the custom fit knee a couple years later, and that one turned out much better for him. Yeah, it just tells you how quickly things can change in right. terms of technology. Yeah. And so um, how's that knee for you now? What was the downtime like? Uh, the downtime yeah. on the first one was probably like 11 weeks. Okay. And the, and the second one was three weeks. Ah, so you know, yeah, three, yeah. three weeks I was able to get rid of the cane and the walker. All right. Uh, and and you were... was able to dance a few steps <laughs> in seven weeks. And nine, nine weeks, we was at it. You were at it. You know what? I would like for you to be at it again. But hold on one second. For more information, you can always log on to memorialherman.org. When we come back, we'll check back in with Great Days Christina Terrell to see how our weight loss patient is doing. Remember, that's a procedure where they wash away fat. But right now, I want you two to hit the dance floor. <laughs>
Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is the leading regional advocate for the economic and civic interests of the Hispanic business community. We provide the tools and resources needed to succeed in a competitive market. Through our business development seminars and networking opportunities, members receive valuable insight and access to successful entrepreneurs. For more information, please visit our website or call the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the leader of Houston's new majority. How did you spend your lunch hour yesterday? If you're like many Houstonians, you may have just taken 10 years off your looks. Dr. Laconi and his staff at the Institute of Anti-Aging can make a difference in your life in as little as one hour. The Institute of Anti-Aging promotes younger, healthier-looking skin with their non-surgical, low-cost, and painless procedures, featuring Botox Cosmetic and Restylane to smooth facial wrinkles. How will you spend your lunch hour tomorrow? Call the Institute of Anti-Aging and schedule your visit today. I'm Andrea, teacher and a mom, and I stretch my family budget using Watermill Express. I really like Watermill because their units are always clean and serviced every day. At Watermill Express, a family of four can save up to $600 a year by drinking Watermill Express. I only give my players Watermill Express water. Our 12-step water perfection program and daily service means Watermill Express delivers great taste and savings. Get a better water habit from Watermill Express. Wrongful imprisonment, trials that last for years. We all know injustice when we see it. In Luke 18, Jesus talks about the difficulty of receiving justice in our flawed human courts. His advice, pray and never give up. If you've been seriously injured and need an advocate who won't give up, call Simmons and Fletcher. Simmons and Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers, 713-Lawyer-1. Because it's not wrong to receive what the law says is yours. how Roxanne is doing after her body jet procedure to wash the fat away. Hey Deborah, yes, I'm here back at the Image Enhancement Center with Roxanne. She had the body jet procedure done just 20 minutes ago. She's recovering and how does it feel? Not bad. I'm just a little, you know, tired just because I did get a little bit of medication, but yeah, yeah other than that I feel okay. Isn't it crazy like that you did a little bit of crunches, a few crunches, but that's about it. It's going to look like you did a whole <laughs> lot of crunches, and you're actually going to walk out of here in just a little bit, uh -huh. and what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to rest today, but I think tomorrow I'm going to go shopping. All right. <laughs> so crazy. So if you have any questions, you can always go to the website, call them, check it out. Easy procedure. Doesn't hurt? No, it wasn't bad at all. That's was great. Yeah. I almost fell asleep on the table. <laughs> well, there you I go. I did. I almost fell asleep. It's a pretty cool thing, Deborah. To find out more, like I said, you can go to the website. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Christina.